Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Mike. And you're watching The Shorty King, the only live real estate show on the Emerald Coast. So let's get started. for all your investors out there. We just got the local real estate sales up in July from the newspaper. It said the median prices and the sales are up in Walton, Santa Rosa, and Okaloosa counties across the board. The Florida Realtors, which is the largest real estate organization in the state, recently released the market updates. You're actually beginning to see the new houses being built and sold. And that's a little trigger. That's how you know the prices are going to be going up and when the inventory is gone. This, this is a quote from David Goach, the local real estate economist here. Things are looking up. Okay, well, our sales numbers are in for the month of August. And again, we're talking about August this year versus August last year. It's for the, enti uh, the entire Board of Realtors for the Destined Market, and this time I want you to bear with me because we're going to dive into it just a little bit further than usual. really want to give you a breakdown of these numbers. So whether you're buying or selling, this is going to be an advantage for you to know this so you can really see which direction you want to go. Well, this year for August, our home prices, they're up 20% across the board. That's phenomenal. And as far as the units sold, well, they're the same as they were last year. So not too big of a change there, but what's interesting is going to be the amount of REOs, short sales, and traditional sales that are all part of that are that's all part of the mix. Our REOs, which are bank-owned properties, those sales were up 20%. Short sales, well, they took a dive at 25%. And our traditional market, the one the homes that sold that are not part of the short sales or REOs, they were up 10.5%. So what does this really mean as you look at the whole picture that just showed a 20%? rise in prices. That really fell on the REO and short sale market. That actually comprised of 41.7 percent of the sales. If you just extract the traditional sales, well guess what? Unfortunately those prices dropped 11.2 percent. So as far as the sellers go, if you're going to be in the traditional market or if you find yourself in the short sale market, you can digest these numbers and really see what direction you want to go. And as far as the buyers, well, now you can take the whole picture, look at it, and study it. Because whether you're buying or selling, we want to come to you with the numbers that are going to help you in your situation. Okay, now as we just talked about the houses, how do we stand with the condos? Well, guess what? The quantity sold went through the roof. We had a 22% increase in units sold and our prices they went up 16.5%. Now again, as we tap into the REOs, the short sales, and traditionals, guess what? REO sales this year, they were down. The bank-owned properties were down 60% over they were last year. And short sales, they also took a dive. They're 25% down from what they were last year as well. But get a load of this. The traditional condo sale was up 94.7% and it comprised of 74% of the total market from being sold for the month of August. So again, as we break these numbers down, very interesting, something that you can look at and really put a pencil to, because either which way, like we said earlier, we want, we're here to help you. We want to help you digest these numbers and give you what our true market is actually doing. This month is something we need to remember. Take a moment to thank these brave men and women. There's firefighters climbed to the 13th floor at Eglin's Control Tower to honor their fellow fallen comrades who died during September 11th terrorist attacks. Again, please take a moment to thank these brave men and women. In closing, we want to thank all of you for joining us today, and please give us a call if you have some issues with these numbers, because I know it gets a little bit confusing. And also, <clears throat> if you find this information useful, we always like our family growing, so be sure to pass it off. And, and one thing, I want to take a moment, and I want to congr congratulate my partner here, Mike. <clears throat> Something that took place this past month, something you really need to know about we, we've mentioned that we're going to start building houses and such like that and that is going to be coming up for the 2013 season but Mike has built over 60 homes in California and when he relocated here well, guess what they did not honor his builders contracting license so what do you have to do he took the test and out of a hundred and something people only about 12 passed it brother Mike passed it on the first go-around so if you're looking to build that house 
we can get you fixed up. We can do that too. We can got connections with architectural groups here. We've got connections with all of the subcontractors, so we can certainly help you get a nice house done. So if you do have a lot here and you're thinking about doing it, give us a shot and we'll give it a good figure for you. And keep in mind if you're planning on buying or selling real estate, don't forget to call the Shorty Team.